Your case is settled, but an attorney may choose to hold back some settlement funds in a personal injury case before closing the case to, to address potential additional liens or anticipate expenses. This precautionary measure is taken to protect the client's interests and ensure that all outstanding obligations are properly addressed. Here are some reasons why an attorney may hold back a portion of the settlement funds in the trust account. One, unresolved leads. During the settlement process, there might be a certain lien or claim against the settlement proceeds that have not been fully resolved or confirmed. This could include outstanding medical liens, health insurance liens, or government liens like Medicare, Medicaid, or child support. By holding back a portion of the funds, the attorney ensures that there is enough money available to satisfy any remaining liens or claims that might emerge after the settlement. Two, anticipated medical expenses. In some cases, the full extent of the client's injuries and medical needs may not be entirely known at the time of settlement. There could be ongoing medical treatments, surgeries, or therapies that the client requires in the future. Holding back funds allows the attorney to set aside money to cover the anticipated medical expenses ensuring the client's ongoing medical needs are adequately met. Three, miscellaneous costs and fees. There may be additional costs associated with the case that were not initially anticipated, such as court filing fees, expert witness fees, or other legal expenses. Holding back a portion of the settlement funds allows the attorney to cover these miscellaneous costs without putting a financial burden on the client. Four, protection against future claims. In some situations, third parties may file claims or seek compensation against the settlement amount after the case is closed. By holding back funds, the attorney can safeguard against such claims and ensure that the client's share of the settlement is not compromised. Five, contingency fee payment. In many personal injury cases, attorneys work on a contingency fee basis, meaning that they are paid a percentage of the settlement amount as their fee. By holding back a portion of the funds, the attorney can ensure that the contingency fee is accurately calculated based on the final settlement amount. Six, negotiation leverage. Holding back funds can also provide the attorney with negotiation leverage in resolving outstanding liens and expenses. It gives the attorney the ability to negotiate with lien holders or medical providers from a stronger, stronger financial position. Seven, client's best interest. Ultimately, holding back settlement funds is done in the client's best interest. It helps protect the client from unexpected financial burdens and ensure that all financial obligations relating to the case are adequately addressed, providing the client with a fair and comprehensive result. It's essential for the attorney to communicate transparently with the client about the reasons for holding back settlement funds and to keep the client informed throughout the entire process. This transparency builds trust and ensures that the client fully understands the rationale behind the decision.